Okay, so I've had a request to uh, do a video of what our site looks like when we arrive at it. This is going to be a new basement dig. As you can see, it's an empty lot. Um, I don't know if you can make out that there are stakes over there. We'll walk over there in a minute. But uh, we have our basement stakes over there. And then back around the corner here by the trash can, you can see that's our elevation stake. So what we do when we first get here is we take a look at our plot plan. And that's got the layout of the house on it. Um, it's also got the existing elevations here. And these are the numbers that matter. That's our top of footing number. Uh, and that's going to tell us where the basement sits relative to our known point. Um, so what I've done is I actually walked over to that known point stake, which is the one back over there by the trash can. And it's got a number written on it. And that number was... Uh, 978.33 that's the elevation at that point sorry I'm trying to stay out of the Sun so you can see so then we uh, we subtract our top of footing number to figure out our initial cut and we get 5.51 well our footer on these basements because these are uh, precast and they sit on a bed of stone they sit on an 8 inch bed of stone and when you convert 8 inches to tenths because we use tenths of a foot on these plat plans, you have 0.67. So we're going to add that to our existing cut so that we go to our full depth of our footing, and that gives us a cut of 6.18. So what we'll do from here is we'll set up our laser, and we will go shoot that point down there by those trash cans that is our known point. And that will give us a number on our grade rod. And then we will go up the grade rod, our 6.18 feet, which is what we calculated as our cut. And that's going to give us our footing depth. So now let's walk over here and take a closer look at our basement. Uh, I've got Paul in the excavator right now. He's cutting in the driveway. And then he's going to put the crushed concrete in, and that'll be the construction drive that will serve the site until they put the real drive in that's what he's doing that right there is an egress well um, I've got a video somewhere on my channel of these precast basements I have no idea why there is a random egress well sitting out here but that's what an egress well looks like on one of the precasts just sitting here this is normally not here on a normal dig uh, so this is our basement uh, when you just walk up to it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to you. It helps to walk around with that plot plan. Um, basically every corner has a stake. Um, and so we actually come out here with spray paint right before we're going to dig it and spray out all of our lines, makes them easier to follow with the excavator tracks. You also have offset stakes. You do not want to touch the offset stakes. You can see that's a 15 foot offset from the house corner. And there's another one. And it's for this corner right here. And so what happens is when we dig the basement, obviously this stake's gonna be gone. So they'll use the offset stakes and pull lines. And that's how they align the basement walls in the actual hole. So that's why it's important. You can see there's two more over there. There's one and there's one, and that's for this stake right here. Um, and that's how they align the basement in the hole once we've dug it. And that's how everything gets nice and straight and flush. So, there you have it. This is, this is what a, uh, a new basement site looks like before we hit it. It's just a mowed down field with a bunch of stakes. Uh, this, I believe, is a perk test. That's why that's there. Uh, that's another abnormal thing. We typically don't have those out here when we get here. So, uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments section and I'll, uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thanks guys.